It's spring low today and we are cockling. So this is my second time doing this. I've uh, eaten cockles once before. And we've got another one. Very hard to find and see these guys. Pull them out, all three together. What a fun. in some pepper now. <laughs> That's flipping ass. There we go. What's up guys? So we are out on the beach today. Um, with the whole coronavirus thing going on, we've got about, I think, two days left of being outside, so we're making the most of it. And it's spring low today and we are cockling. So this is my second time doing this. I've uh, eaten cockles once before when I was a kid, probably like 10 years ago. Um, so we're going to try it out again and yeah, I'm going to show you some cockles that we find. I've never ever found one with those. That's so rad. Oh, that's so rad. So, our next find is a big beauty brand. I've never seen one this color either. Some really cool things in the rock pool today. My dad over here has found a proper one. So we're just going to try and show you in the, in the deep cave here. Oh, there we go. We've got a monster. And we got some sea urchin hunters, but that's okay. That's all about the the game, fair game, Let's put it out here, as you can see, it's bigger than my palm. And we've got another one, very hard to find and see these guys because of their color, they must blend right into the rock. As you can see, it blends pretty well in this little spot right here. So we've got two now. Guys just found another one, we got zapped by another Sea urchin, another really good one. It's getting a little nippy now. I just uh, chucked on my catch cook merch. Uh, it's getting off that wind chill factor. That helps a lot. And my dad just found three in one cockles all stuck together. He's pretty stoked. Pull them out, all three together. What a find. Money hole. Except we're gonna put them all back because we've got quota and we don't need any more. So it's just showing that the ecosystem is thriving here and that we're not gonna take everything that we find. Um, we're gonna take some small ones that are probably size um, and put them back just to help the ecosystem rejuvenate. Okay, so, so we just found a really nice rock pool. I'm gonna quickly get changed and get my mask on. And in this cave here, there's a whole bunch of marine life. There's a big giant starfish. We'll show cl close-ups of that just now. What's up guys, so we're back in the kitchen now and we just watched Primal Provider 128, uh, that's Dean and we watched how he prepared his Ali Kriakul and so we're going to be using his uh, recipe today to prepare these Ali Kriakul and cook them up so thanks Dean for your catch cook, really appreciate the help um, we've got our Ali Kriakul here got 10 of them and the daily lim limit is 5 per person so we're just going to Chuck them in the water over here, some fresh water. We're gonna boil them for 10 minutes and then put them into some cooler water. 
Highly I'm just gonna add a bit of salt into this water. So dad is getting involved here today. Just don't mind the bird. Um, he's quite excited with this. He's never done this before and neither have I. So we're both really excited, but I think he's gonna do the cooking today, not me. So hopefully this is uh, a little more exciting than my catch cooks are normally. And uh, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so the whole family is getting involved today and we are getting an onion peeled here by mom. So we've got some fresh rosemary here. I'm gonna cut some off for our alicrecal. There we go, fresh from the garden. So now we're just chopping up the rosemary. Carrot. Yeah, so we've got some chopped onion, some grated carrots, and some tomato and onion mix. Still waiting for this to boil. We've got about another five minutes. Coming to, a, coming to a boil now, so they're almost done. And what should happen is that the, the trap. trap door disc thing will fall out and then you know it'll be ready. Okay, so we're gonna put them into cold water now. All right, so today we found some really, really monster alicricles. And just to show you the size limits compared to the size of the shell, so that's how big they're meant to be, which is probably about a, that's an abalone ring, which is illegal now to get, but that's the size of the alicrecal. If you just put it on the palm of your hand, it's massive. As mentioned, not a lot of meat on these guys. Getting mom, who is not a fan of fish really, um, she's gonna give this an attempt to see how easy it is. There we go, she's already got it out. Super easy. Get the intestine. Push it all the way to the back, take out the back. Oh, she did not enjoy that. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> so we are now chopping the alicrecal into little bite-sized blocks and that way it'll be easy to chew and cook in the linguine pasta. Then if we move around, we're gonna start with the pasta, get that to al dente, not all the way cooked because we're gonna add it into the pan with the alicrecal and that way everything will cook together and simmer together and not overcook. So, just a little tip. Okay, so manly man over here, um, he's gonna try this raw, or well, it's been boiled, but it's got no added spices or anything. Um, back, way back in the day when it was still legal, um, he used to eat abalone, so he says it might be the same. Um, so yeah. Exactly the same. Exactly the same as abalone. That's rather interesting. Um, what does it taste like? Right now, rubbery. <laughs> rubbery. Any, any like... Flavors? Yeah. Shit. Taste it. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm gonna try a piece, cause I've never done this before. Not like in this form. Okay, so, smells like a muscle. Tastes like the ocean. Very rubbery. It's pretty good actually. Quite salty. Yeah, I could eat that. Done. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not, not survivor chase. It's not, it's not that bad. <laughs> like, I know it's in front of the camera and everything, you could go and spit it out, but I'm just showing that I didn't spit it out because, you know. Um, yeah, it's really not that bad. So, in the pasta, it should be really good, especially with all the spices that we're gonna add and all the herbs and other vegetables that we've cut up already. And so I'm looking forward to this lunch. It's gonna be a epic lunch. Put some oil in the pan. I'm gonna add some crushed garlic. Next, we're gonna add in our onion. Okay, so we're gonna brown the onion. 
And then we're gonna add in the added vehicle just now. It has our al dente pasta, and that'll be added almost last, pretty much last, and then cook it all up together. So we're just gonna wait for this for now. Okay, so now we're adding in our added pickle. And next up is rosemary, fresh from the garden. So too much. Peach chutney. Want a good amount of this. About two tablespoons or so. Next up is some soya sauce. So we adding a few little other ingredients to, to this recipe. Okay, so we're adding in some pepper now. And quite a bit of salt. Okay, so next up is the carrots. Quite a bit of carrots, just to make a filler. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna cook this till it reduces. So I think next up we'll be adding the tomato and tomato mix and just get it into more of a saucy based reduced mix for the pasta and just let that simmer for now. Okay, so we're adding in the rest of the pasta. Okay, so we got Bryce here. He's gonna be trying it out. <laughs> Let's fill up my nose. There we go. It's not too bad. We've got Dad over here. Turned it's out very much better than I thought. Nice. That's, that's really good. The spices definitely help the, the flavor of the Ali Krekel and makes it more palatable, I would say, than eating it raw like I did just now. But yeah, really, really good dish and definitely something to cook in the future. Shot Dean for your recipe, really appreciate that. And catch you in the future. Catch us next time on Catch Cook to see what we get up to. Cheers.